Hi everyone. Warm welcome to the session. I am M Ganesan, Assistant Professor, IT Department of Hindustan College of Engineering Technology, Coimbatore. In this session, I am going to talk about computer networks. What is a network? So everybody aware of network. So in day to day life. Uh, wherever we are uh, going no, to the hospital or bank, so wherever we go, uh, we can see the network of computers. So a network is nothing but it consisting of two or more computers connected together and they can communicate with each other and share the resources or with this information. So the computers can be uh, geographically, geographically located anywhere in the world. So, uh, in this diagram, the computers are connected through a cable and all the computers are connected with the printer also. So, here this single printer can be shared by all these computers. So, all the computers can use the single printer. Yeah. In this diagram, we can see the various type of networks, various devices used in networks and see the here on a personal computer and a server and wireless network, wired networks. All these networks are connected by using a switches, routers and cable. Now this printer which is connected through a wired networks which can be shared by all these devices and also we have a firewall which helps to uh, secure our network okay so this, these are all the systems we are using in a networks so typical examples for a networks applications of networks the resource sharing here this is a major uh, application of networks we shares both the hardware resources and software resources here hardware resources means the disks, I mean memories and printers we can share and software resources are all the application softwares in a network and tools and small applications. And in second one information sharing, here the information means the files and databases and all the different types of uh, Word, Excel, various files we can share using the network it is information sharing and also we share some information with the help of search engine you know google or something like this and third important application is communications so we can use email and message broadcast for to communicate with each other in an efficient manner and the remote computing here we can compute some functions which is in a remotely located computer. So these are all the various applications of networks. Types of networks. We categorize the networks based on the transmission media, network size, management method and topology. Based on the transmission media, we categorize the network as wired networks and wireless networks. Based on the network size, we categorize the networks as local area networks, wide area networks and metropolitan area network. Based on the management method, we categorize the networks as peer to peer and client server network. Based on the topology, that means connectivity. So the way of connecting the computers, we categorize the networks as bus networks, star topology and ring topology. Here uh, let us look at these diagrams. Here uh, uh, local area networks is nothing but a, a small, I mean more than two computers are connected within a small area Why, and peer to peer, these are all the computers, not more than 10 computers can connect in the peer to peer networks and wide area networks, it is the uh, best example is internet. So we can connect the computers throughout the world. So it is wide area network. Uh, 
local area networks it is a small networks and the, this network is within a short distance in a within a room or within a floor or within a building so it serve a department within a organization for example student computer lab or a network inside a small office so these are all the example of a lan so local area networks next wide area network here a network that uses a long distance telecommunication links to connect two or more local area networks or computers in different places for a part so for example uh, at the best example is internet so within a uh, in a town states or countries so here just look at this diagram uh, here student computer center connected with the your home and connected with usa so this is a typical network wide area networks here uh, the network of our campus and internet internet is the best example for wide area networks peer to peer network it is another type of networks this networks based on the management method right here how uh, the management method the peer to peer network is also called work group so it means the we can, the each and every computer act as a uh, there is no, uh, a client and server right so there is no uh, server and there is no client all the computer act as a client as well as server so uh, the each and the the no hierarchy among computers all are equal so no administrator responsible for this network and one more thing is it's not more than 10 computers connected in a peer to peer networks advantages of peer to peer networks the first one low cost second one very simple to configure the systems and third one has full accessibility of a computer because of all are equal disadvantage of this network peer to peer networks is it may have duplication in resources right and difficult to uphold security policy there is no uh, less security and there also so many duplications are resources are available in this peer to peer network okay then where we can use this peer to peer networks the first one uh, the the place where 10 or less users not more than 10 users can use this network number one number two if a place where no special services are required so there is no specialized services required only some of the uh, consistent services are enough and security is not an issue so these are all the three cases we can use this peer to peer network and client server networks here you know that client server networks so the client is nothing but the computers that requires resources or services from the server the server will give the service to the client so this is the client server network so the network services servers are the computers that manage and provide network resources and services to the client usually have more processing power and memory hard disk space than clients because the network servers always having more power than the client because client machines are the machines we are usually using the machines servers often have a more stringent requirement on its performance and reliability so this is a client server technology so here also advantages of client server technology it is facilitated resource sharing facilitated system backup and improve fault tolerance and more security available and support more users okay and disadvantages are the cost is very high need expert to configure this networks because it is complex network and it introduces a single point of failure to the system and the finally the another method of categorization that is topology based on the topology 
there are three main topologies we are going to see bus topology and ring topology and star topology. So, here the bus topology, so all the systems are connected through a single wire that is cable. This is bus topology and ring topology, all the systems are connected in a ring manner. Okay, so the information passes through all the systems. Here the star topology, here a centralized hub is there all the machines are connected through this hub ok. So, it is star topology. First we will see bus topology. So, the bus topology it is a very simple and low cost topology. It is a passive topology. Why it is called passive topology? Because the computer only listen not regenerate data. So, it is called passive topology. The disadvantage of bus topology is if uh, because we are using a single medium right single cable if any break in the bus in the cable is very difficult to identify. So, we cannot identify in, uh, in, in which place actually the damage has happened. So, only one computer can send message at a time. So, this is another disadvantage of bus topology. So, we go for star topology here each computer has a cable connected to a single point it is called a hub ok. So, so it is it needs more cabling. So, it is it cost will be higher than the previous topology. All signals transmissions through the hub only ok it is the through all the transmissions through the hub because the, uh, if you if a machine come want to communicate with the some other machine first you do the communications through only the hub. Two or more computers may send messages at the same time. So, it is one of the advantages than the bus topology. And this said I mean <coughs> another advantage of star topology or flexibility of adding a we can add n number of systems to the uh, using this hub you know and breakdown of one system does not affect entire system because suppose here the hub is there from the hub only all the machines are connected. If any fault uh, in a particular system then that particular system alone will be affected. So, other system will not be get affected. The major disadvantage of the star topology is failure of the central node the disabled whole network. If, if this hub is failure then the all the system will be goes down. So, this is called um, star network and ring topology. So, in this topology each station is attached nearby station on a point to point basis. So, that the entire system is in the form of a ring. In this topology data is transmitted in one direction only ok one, one direction only thus the data packets circulate among the ring in either clockwise or anti-clockwise direction ok. So, the uh, the ring it is called a it is a packet the packet is move from one system to another system all the like this either clockwise or anti-clockwise. So, here in this ring topology all the systems can open the message. So, this is one of the disadvantages. So, advantage of the topology is may signal transmitted on the network passes through all the LAN settings and the disadvantage of the ring topology is that breakdown of any one of the station on the ring can disable the entire script right. If any uh, breakdown failure in one system then it will affect all the system. If any failure in this particular system what will happen? So, all these system will be get affected. In this uh, presentation, we learned about the what is basics of networking, computer networks and different types of networks. Thank you very much for watching this video.